let's talk about the other aspect of that, not just cherry picking, but also teaching the algorithm. It is yes. machine learning. Yes. You know, These are recent, I, man. Yes. Yeah. Bo well, both you and I were on a show yesterday. Uh, well, that we pre-recorded with uh, yep. Steve Rodeo and David from Para, uh, where we had kind of mentioned that and talked about it, where they were actually doing that a couple of years ago when it came to, you know, the the algorithm and starting to get that set up. What that maybe went into is what we're seeing today once they realize that they're able to, you know, kind of finesse things into a profit style versus, right. you know, information um, which if you have, or I, I don't know when he's going to post that over on Rideshare Rodeo, but, uh, when they do check that out, because we did talk about that and it just kind of rolls into what's, what we're going to be talking about training the algorithm. And yep. this is where, this is where decline garbage comes in. This is where cherry picking comes in. This is where these things that we're talking about have yep. to come in in order to be able to teach that algorithm. No, we are not going to be slow boiled into a, a death of the frog. Uh, that Sergio, you always bring up, uh, but it's I it's the frog, example. We don't want that conditioning that they're going to say, "Oh, ten dollars today, nine dollars and ninety five cents in next week, and then in six months it's down to nine fifty, nine twenty five, eight dollars." Yep. You know, we don't want that. We want to train the algorithm and say, "Look, we're not going to accept that." And so, yeah, declining rides is going to be one of the things that's going to be happening. Uh, in order to train that saying, I'm not going to, I know what my value is and I'm not going to accept lower than that. Now, now I gotta, I gotta tell you one thing, you know, remember I just mentioned Michelle, Michelle, if you're here, shout out to you. I mean, a lot of drivers have become my eyes and ears in the country. Okay. Which is like absolutely be mind boggling to me that you guys are taking this shit seriously enough, but you should because it's your income for God's sakes. Right. So, but I thank you. I appreciate it. I try to answer every single email. So Michelle's email starts, Sergio, I have almost 300 lines on my spreadsheet. Thanks to you. I go, thank you, Michelle. Much appreciated. You know what she says? I wish I had put that email up. Well, you know what? Next week, I'll put that up. Yeah, let's, goes, let's talk about know? that next week. Let's talk about week. the... Yeah, uh, I, I don't have letters this week. I had them all set up, but I knew we were going to run over with this stuff. So I go like, next week, we'll do all those. Yeah. But she says, she says, Sergio, I don't know if I'm cherry picking better. This is her quote. I'm telling you. But my losses from last week of 6% has have declined. He goes, she goes, do you think I'm teaching the algorithm something? I told her, I responded to her. I go, you're doing both. You're doing both things really well. Not only you're cherry picking better and you're teaching the algorithm at the same time. So her losses on her short trips are declining overall from being down 6%. She's down, I think, down to like my me, like 3% level, right? So this is what we're trying to do. If this is the best we can do, and if your losses under UFD or upfront fares is seven, eight, nine percent, that means your style is wrong. You're you're not cherry picking enough. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. she goes, "Is it both?" I go, "Michelle, it's got to be both. You're cherry picking better. You become yep. a better cherry picker, and you're teaching the algorithm." Every single time, we'll always bring this up. Both DK and Jay Z, and even Andrew in his interview that yes, he did sir. recently that we highlighted, all say the same exact thing. If they are pricing rides wrong, it's on them. And they want they want acceptance rates to be at 100%. I would agree with that. I would love to have my acceptance rate back up to 100%. It's nowhere near that. But that's yeah. also because they're not offering the right prices. Yeah. You got to offer the right prices. They they all did they did say that there's going to be an adjustment period that needs for everything to kick in. Well, okay, it's sure. time. We're it's going time. to teach it that adjustment yeah. period. So he said that. remember DK, be, DK, DK clearly said that. Clearly yep. said that he goes mm -hmm. machine learning. He goes algorithms. We need time to adjust. I go, sir. It's been mm -hmm. a month and a half almost in LA now. It's time to adjust. Let's let yeah. It should algo. be adjusting. So yeah, and you know everybody has the goddamn their own algo anyway. So okay, um, okay. You got these. Uh, these are not okay. The, so, the two trips. The it goes the other way around. Okay, but, either or. Yeah, either or. So so look at these two trips. Okay. Just just try to look at the pickup and the drop-off point and the price. Forget everything else at the moment. They're both long trips. This is on trip radar. Okay. So they're shopping these trips on trip radar. Obviously, there's four people watching one and six people are watching the other one. Obviously, nobody's touching it. And why would they? 
When a trip is going to take 65 minutes and 43 miles at 38 bucks, they go, screw that. I'm not doing it. And the other one, $44, 44 43 you know, most, most people would take the second trip, I'm pretty sure, right? I mean, it's 45 bucks, especially if it's on your way home or if you live somewhere close to that area. Great, right? So these are all from Orange County to um, L.A., uh, both of them. And so to me, now, you can train your eyes on the numbers, 37.93 and 43.95, right? Okay, the next one, next time they pop these, and by the way, look at the clock. Look at the screenshot clock, 6.23 p.m. So they've been shopping these two trips. Uber system goes, fuck, I can't sell them. What do I need to do? I don't want to let's change the price. Okay, okay, next one now. Oh, look at 6.26 p.m. Three minutes later, they're still shopping, and now seven people are watching one and five on the other one. Hey, look what happened to the prices. You guys remember that 71-minute trip at 43 bucks or 42 bucks, whatever that was, right? Now it's up to 47 bucks. There you go, 43.95. It went up to 46.98. Great, okay, improvement. Probably still nobody took it, but at this point, it's becoming more, more of a you know palatable trip, right? And the other one became 38.51 from 37.93. Not that much of an improvement. However, there is a thing here that you guys need to pay attention to. Again, these are these screens you guys got to read in about 67 seconds, six or seven, not 67. Do you see this, Chris, where it says $1.50 included? And on both on both chips, when it originally yep. showed up on Trip Radar, it said $1.50 included. That's the surge, right? Yeah. Look what they did on the next one. Now they it's... go five seventy five dollars included now. See what the mother humpers are doing, right? Now, if so, $1.50 to $5.75. There's, there's definitely not a $5. Or, I'm sorry, what's five seventy five minus one fifty? Four twenty five. $4.25. There's not a four dollar and twenty five cent difference on those rides. There's even less on this, they're fucking. Both. Even on this, even when they're shopping, they're fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because they made it look like, ooh, five seventy five. Well, jackass, my math is good in six seconds. If if the surge went from buck fifty to five seventy five, this trip should not have only gone up by three bucks. It should have gone up by four twenty five. So what yep. do they do? The algo goes, ooh, surge went higher. Now I got to lower the fare. Stop. Fucking with it, man. We know what the hell is up. This is bullshit, right? Again. Yeah, it's a game. And, and this is a uh, game too. Like, you know, oh, I can look at it, it and say, hey, look, I'm getting I'm getting five dollars and seventy-five cents extra. That that's you know, yeah. that that's pretty decent right there. But no, it's in actuality, it's the a fair it's a went down. Yeah. Fair it's down the same because, yeah, fair they they mess with the fair. But overall, though, for the same trip, right? They put more money into the trip. That's a fact. You cannot lie with that, right? But if you analyze it with the surge adjustment, it should have gone up even more. But even mm -hmm. there, they're like taking a couple of bucks from you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but my point on this showing this was the algo is adjusting. When people are not taking these trips and they're staying on the trip radar for like two, three, four, five minutes, right? The algo goes, okay, we'll still fuck with their heads. We'll show like a bigger... Uh, you know, bigger surge, they're not going to figure that out. They're going to jump on it right away. But the point is, they adjusted one trip up three, three and a half bucks, and the other one by a buck. Yeah. So, but it should have been 425 for both. Yeah, I agree. And, I agree. But and I then agree. Even, I even on top up. of that, even on top of that, just take, taking away the surge, you know, th those are just sitting there. There's a reason why they're just sitting there. They're not well, pricing yeah. them correctly. So that means the, the actual fare itself should be higher. And then the surge on top of that, should be higher. So instead of a four dollar and twenty five cent increase, you should probably see six, seven, eight dollar increase in order to actual in in the real world in the real world of math. Um, when no, you know, when nobody wants to take a ride and you're trying to teach your algorithms that that's what should be doing. That's why they're sitting here like this. Yep. Then they, and then you know what? To me, uh, the acceptance rate is 4%. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Awesome. All right, good. All right. Thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.